door light. FedEx pisses me off daily. So. Thank you. You too. But he did really good. I'm probably popping the pic because, girl, mm -mm. It, it looks amazing. It comes packaged really, really nice. So. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, as you can see from the title, it is gonna be a, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna title this, but I know it's some type of maintenance vlog um, preparing me for my trip to Cali vlog, something along those lines. But if you're new here, hey girl, my name's Akira Janae. Don't forget to subscribe and join the family before you leave. So as you can see, I need my nails done real bad. Um, that's what we're about to do today. I do have to go to work today, which is a bummer. Um, I initially made my schedule to work Monday and Tuesday of this week. Today is actually Friday, June 20, 21st. Um, it's 1.34. But they put me on for Friday, probably because there was nobody on there. So they say, get on the schedule. It's three text schedule for tonight. Why y'all put me on there? You only need two, spe specifically for our floor. But anyways... I wish I would just cut Monday and Tuesday, so today I do gotta go to work. I tried to get my shift to somebody and just put in PTO for today because it's super annoying, but I'm gonna go ahead and go to work, show off my hair and everything. It's gonna be super cute. Um, as well as, I'm kinda okay with going to work now because when I'm at work, I tend to get more things done. Like when I get my work and stuff done and when I'm sitting down, I'll like, you know, plan out my days, do my to-do list, do like, you know, do all that type of stuff, pay bills, all of that. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. Um, I'm going to be ordering the last minute stuff from Amazon, like travel essentials and stuff like that. Um, when I get back to the house, we'll probably pack. We're not going to pack today. We're going to probably pack Saturday evening and then going into Sunday. I do want to post this vlog on Sunday. If not Sunday, y'all will get this on Monday. And then I'm going to be flying out to... Um, Cali on Tuesday so yeah the only thing that's not going to be in here that I'm getting done is like a maintenance is I'm going to be getting a Brazilian wax on Tuesday um I rescheduled with my girl because my hair is super bomb I'll give y'all a better look at it or whatever later she didn't get done braiding my hair I just lost my train of thought she didn't get done braiding my hair until midnight which is super cute she did an excellent job I absolutely love and you know it took so long because it was you know small knowledge all of that whoop de whoop but I absolutely love my hair um I recorded a little bit last night of me getting my hair done not too much and I'll show y'all that right Right now So yeah, I didn't record too much because who just wants to sit and watch somebody braid hair for like five minutes? Not me. Um, I like to see a little process a little bit, did a little bit. And today, I'm about to go get my eyebrows ombre. The girlies at my job said it lasts about a week, a week and a half. Um, I didn't do my edges. Um, I, for, I didn't know how much edges she was leaving out because I cannot do edges, girl. So um she just flat earned it and then curled it but i don't want to keep having to flat earn my edges so we're gonna try to figure out something um so yeah i should have just told her a little bit less than this so i could just do a little swoop because yeah i can't do all the curling and stuff like that side already look crazy my side is still okay but yeah 
anyways i'm gonna go get my eyebrows ombre today um it should be about 30 40 dollars i do want my lashes done but i'm not gonna go to a lash tech because it's too late i feel like basically at this point and i don't really want to pay 200 dollars because i do wear glasses and i rub and pick my eyes a lot so i just feel like cost effective wise it's not it's not doing it for me so the place i'm going to get my eyebrows tinted this is going to be my first time they do do lashes but i've never let them do mine before the place that i go to they charge like 40 dollars or so and they do like the clusters and those are really cute they're short enough for me to keep wearing my glasses and everything like that so this place i don't know i'm going to ask because theirs look more like individuals and the place that i go to theirs are like clustered lashes if i'm saying the lash terms correctly i don't know i'm not a lash girly so yeah I know they're going to ask about my nails and my toes, but I really want to stick to who I know with my nails and my toes. They did my toes amazing last time in my regular nail shop. And then my nails, I do want a summer fun, like a summertime nail design, if you will. Um, I was looking to doing these silver nails right here. So if they can do that, or I was going to, you know, keep it simple again with the white, but do like a little, you know, a little design or something. But I kind of wanted to go out all the way and get into the summer vibes since it's officially summer now so yeah but my outfits because i'm like blue and green nails like i do got two outfits that's colorful and then the rest of them are kind of like are like nude and black so i feel like it'll work out but i really wanted those silver nails because i am going to have like silver accessories and stuff like that so i don't know we'll see but i was going to get this actual design but get it in white but I think I should go ahead and do color since it's summertime. So I'll probably go ahead and do the blue. The blue is cute. So yeah, we'll see. I'm going to have to go ahead and go though because it's going to take me like 25 minutes to get to the side of town to where my eyebrow tint is. And then I'm going to go whew, and then I'm going to go to the mall because I do have a 15% off coupon for Windsor. If I'm pronouncing that correctly, I always say it wrong. Yeah, I got 15% off and it expires um, July 31st. So I'm going to go ahead and go in there and look. Um, I am waiting on Shein to, well, I'm waiting on FedEx to deliver me a package. And they said they couldn't deliver it yesterday because the office was closed. Can y'all not come bring it to my door? Like, FedEx pisses me off daily. So I'm probably going to go try to pick up my package if they don't try to deliver it again today. And then I am waiting on another package, which I'm super duper duper excited about finally it's a long time coming um it's a tech item so hopefully they deliver that and everything today and everything goes well because if not i will be late to work to go get that package because i'm not playing about this package i paid extra money to get it delivered today and i'm not playing i need it before this trip so yeah that's what we're doing today i'll talk to y'all when i get to the nail shop um Alright, do this. Oh, I can't get my straw open. A smoothie. Mm. Woo. That'll definitely cool you down. On a hot day like today. It's so good too. I got a kiwi quencher with whey protein. That's my signature smoothie. <coughs> a tropical smoothie. I'm about to go, um, I forgot to bring my other battery, so I may have to record on my phone some footage, but it is 3 o'clock. Last time I went to the nail shop to get my toes and nails done, it took about two hours, so I should be finishing up, like, right before 5.30, so I'm gonna go ahead and head to the nail shop so that tomorrow I can try to just focus on getting my stuff together, like, packing and all of that type of stuff. I just need to get most of my stuff done today, so I don't gotta do too much on uh saturday and on what sunday and monday because the eyebrow place wasn't even open on monday i think i told y'all that Hey y'all, so today is, um, 
Exactly. Today is Saturday. Oh, girl. My day. I didn't mean to turn the thing open. Okay, today is Saturday, June 22nd. It's 6.40 in the afternoon. Um, I've been having a horrible start to my day after I woke up. I got off work this morning and then just got to it. I went to Amazon. Well, I went to my office to get a lot of packages in the back. When I get home, I'm going to open them. Um, it's a lot of stuff that I got for the trip, basically. So, like I said, I want to incorporate packing as well in here. So, I do got to go to this. I'm at Sam's Club right now to get some gas. My gas light is on and I got like 16 miles left. So, <laughs> And that's what we're doing. Um, and then I gotta go to Best Buy. I gotta pick up an SD card, a micro SD card for the DJI Osmo Pocket 3. I'm gonna unbox it. I'll probably show y'all in this one, but I am gonna record a separate unboxing, like in short form content. And then I'll probably just plug that into the video or something because the video that I make about it, I wanna compare that camera to the Sony camera as well and kinda just talk like tech stuff. And I wanna have tech stuff in its own separate video. So I'm not gonna incorporate much of that in here. But I do wanna start switching over and record the rest of this vlog in that. And then that way you guys can tell me because I plan to post this video either tomorrow, Sunday. Well, I'm gonna post this on Monday. So that that way I'll be able to get feedback and figure out different settings and stuff for the camera and see how I really like it and stuff so yeah that's what we're doing um let me go ahead and get my Sam's cart ready I guess I'm just probably just gonna go ahead and fill my car up because I am tired of stopping back and forth at the gas station because here lately I just been doing a quick little like 10 15 dollars so it'll probably take about 30 dollars or so to fill up my car and it's hot as hell outside I had to change out of some pants and put on some shorts I'm burning up. I almost pissed off. I had broke my thumb. I went and got it uh, repaired. They didn't. Ooh, oh, that's my Sam's card. I went and got it repaired. They didn't charge me anything. I don't know if I gave y'all a full view of my nails, but he did really good. I'm probably popping the picture of the inspo that I showed him, and he literally got it like dead smack on. Looks amazing. He did really good. So that's why I'm about to go ahead and fill up because, baby, I ain't seen it this cheap in a minute. Gas is 274 so I'm going to go ahead and fill all the way up because I ain't seen it this cheap in a long time. Because I'm tired of stopping at the... I don't know about y'all, but stopping at the gas station is just such a big inconvenience. Like, it's very ghetto. I, I hate getting gas at the gas station. It's so annoying. But it's like, I don't think I could ever get no, um... What is it? Like a Tesla or anything? They go by battery? Because, girl, mm -mm. if I ain't got a house and it's not on the charger all day, yeah, no. Because I'm not about to run out of charge <laughs> in the middle of nowhere. Like, what do you do? I need to look that up. What happens if you, like, go on 0% in your uh, electric car? What do you do? I'm on Pandora, y'all. Sometimes I get tired of listening to music from like right now, and I love Pretty Ricky. And this is my favorite song by them, Love Like Honey. And I'm like, dang, I want to hear Love Like Honey. It came up! Hey, Bobby! Hold on now! Windsor or whatever the other day they gave me another 15% off coupon so I'm super excited about that I'm gonna use that again um I didn't really find anything for the trip I went in there specifically to find a shirt to match these pants that I got but I did buy this um I think I actually vlogged inside the store so I did go ahead and buy that little two-piece I'm not gonna wear this to Cali because this is definitely giving like real like tropical island vacation vibes um I am going to a cruise this year and one of the places we're going to is Jamaica so this is giving like you know maybe Jamaica or one of the other places we go to actually not Jamaica it's giving I want to tell y'all everywhere we're going because I think I'm gonna break up the days <laughs> so yeah this is gonna be for one of the places we're going we're going like three different places on the trip on the cruise so super excited about that so I got that this one I've already opened up this is a tripod um like i need any more tripods and stands but it's a cell phone stand and i got it specifically for when i am in the air um this is one that you can put on the back of the airplane seat so that if y'all ever flew in a plane y'all know 
um sometimes like when i down download me something on netflix and i'm watching sometimes i gotta hold my phone sometimes i just prop it up depending on which airline to i'll just prop it up i think i've had one airline where they actually kind of had a phone stand so it's just different so just in case i don't want to have to try to hold my phone or prop it up and the people in front of you like sometimes i've had people that move a lot in the seat of in front of me so they're like knocking my phone down so yeah it's the it's i don't even know how you pronounce this m-i-i-k-a-r-e everything i show y'all will be linked in the uh in my amazon storefront but it looks like this and then oh it's cute you just open it you can do it like that that's cute um okay so this is a full 360 so this can turn so if i'm trying to watch my show on the airplane it needs to be like this so you just push this little button right there open it up and then i will clip this onto the back of the seat in the airplane and then it'll be like that so i can watch my show um you can stand this up so many different ways y'all can look down below if y'all interested in it it just show you the different ways you can put it okay this is i think that's my jewelry that i bought let's just dump everything out and then i'll tell y'all about it. it is a new watch band um if you guys see this one right here i can't zoom in but y'all know i posted this on a lot of my social medias um this one is from amazon i got it in silver so this one i literally got the exact same watch band but in gold because i still sometimes like to use my watch band when i'm out um i necessarily probably won't wear it to dinner but if i am out and like all of my accessories are gold then i want my watch band to match that and i like to wear my watch and i'm pretty sure we're gonna go to santa monica you know we're gonna be walking around and stuff and if i still happen to be wearing gold that day obviously i don't want to wear this silver you know i don't want to mix my um jewelry and stuff try to zoom in a little bit so yeah this is how it looks super duper cute it's like eight to ten dollars i'm just going to open it up to make sure you know it's not broken or anything i cannot wait to be a gold girly i have been wearing silver for a while um somebody had mentioned for me to put gold in my apartment um i think i, I tell y'all this a lot i don't like gold in my apartment um i used to have gold like in college and all of that i don't care for gold anymore um silver accents just honestly look better to me in a home um specifically my home since i do have you know silver um stainless steel plus like everything just looks better in gold i mean in silver to match with that and my chandelier and stuff is gold in there so that's why i mean silver lordy so that's why i don't want to do gold but for jewelry i am about to really get into gold because when i see other women wearing gold like black women it just looks so freaking cute so like i said i got the exact same watch band <laughs> just like this one just in gold um i already know it's really good quality i know it works i am gonna have to take off i think about three of these so it can fit my little bitty wrist but yeah it looks amazing it comes packaged really really nice so 10 out of 10 definitely recommend this item because y'all i'm buying it to my own mini okay <laughs> the other thing that i got is this digital luggage scale i got it just so i can make sure that my luggage isn't over i think it's 50 pounds if i'm not mistaken i'm gonna have to look at american airlines i hate american airlines that's what we flying i like delta the best comment down below what's your favorite airline um but yeah i got it i think it's just handy to have um i am doing a lot of traveling this year like i said a cruise i'm going to chicago again so i got a lot of stuff coming up and just to you know just be on the safe side i'm gonna go ahead and just i just went ahead and bought this so we can just be on the safe side like i said so this this is the perfume bottles for when you travel um because i have i don't have any mini bottles of perfume i have the big bottles so i want to take my you know i want to take my chanel i want to take some good girl a little way that smell i want to take um i don't know i may not take barberry her because that's real it's a real cute subtle smell but i may not take that one i may take i don't know we're gonna see but my boyfriend did say to get him some so i'm gonna probably give him the blue one and the black one so he can take um two of his colognes and then obviously i'm not going to give him the pink one so i'll keep the pink ones and the silver one um so yeah i should have unboxed this and gave that to him while i was there but i'm gonna see him tomorrow so yeah it's just a cute little mini perfume bottle following along the lines of me getting that gold watch band i needed some more gold accessories i got a few gold necklaces so i feel like i'll be okay on that but as far as gold rings i may have like one or two but they're not good quality they're like something that i've had accumulating from like over the years so it's, it's nothing too good so this was on amazon this is basically a um 
I think this is a dupe for the Cartier bla uh, bracelet, if I'm not mistaken. And they said it fits on a tiny wrist, so that's why I decided to go ahead and get it. Everything is on here. I mean, it's a dupe for it, but you can tell that it's not the real Cartier. <laughs> but it looks really nice. It feels like a really good quality, and it came in a two-pack. So I decided to, I didn't want the same, like you can get a two pack with the same bracelet. Obviously I don't, I don't want the same bracelet. I feel like that defeats the purpose. So I got this one. Hopefully it doesn't fall off my little wrist <laughs> too easily. I feel like maybe you can, can you tighten it like that? Yeah. Okay. So that's cute. My wrist is really small as you guys know. So I feel like this is really good for anybody with a small wrist like me. I think they say you just unclamp it. And there you go so yeah i would take off these two braces right here and then i will put these ones on and then you just clip it back oh that's cute yeah so my wrist is small it dangles just a little bit but nothing too major i don't think um i would obviously put this one back behind the watch i wouldn't put it in front like that so and then this one i believe these should be my gold rings that i got so i got a ring size five um, my class ring used to be a size five and I, I don't think I lost it. I honestly think my boyfriend lost it. <laughs> like I don't, I've had my class ring since I've got it after I graduated high school in 2016. So that's why I'm like, I want another ring. I wore that ring every single day. So that ring was a size five. So I decided just to go ahead and try a size five. I thought it came with two golds, but I am kind of glad it came with a gold and a silver so that I can, you know wear it but i know my ring figure should be about yeah should be about a size five so that's why i decided to get a size five um i probably need a size six for my other two fingers but just you know for the time being i think that's cute just one little cute ring on a, um each finger obviously i would wear them separately but yeah i think they're cute the gold is definitely giving girl like don't play with her so i like it's really good quality too like it feels Got a little weight to it. Um, if I gain any more weight though, which I do plan to do, they are probably gonna get a little tight. So I'll probably order, I'm gonna order these exact same rings in a size six. Cause right here, I feel like a size six would be able to fit. Um, Cause I don't wanna necessarily wear it on my pinky. That's gonna fall off. Oh, okay, girl, I ordered this. I ordered all this stuff last night by like, midnight and everything got here today that's why i love amazon so this one i've talked about this before in one of my other amazon hauls um alexis actually put me on to this when i was watching her vlog it's the vanilla bean fragrance oil it's something that you can just layer on with some of your other fragrances so i absolutely love this it's the cum cumilla made girl i'm not even sure how to pronounce the brand but it is 3.7 milliliters so it just smells so amazing like girl i'm about to put it on right now because yes a three light mode led video light i do have one that i had got from shein but that one it i don't know like i mean you get what you pay for it was five dollars it wasn't bad and i'm scared to buy stuff on tiktok shop i trust amazon a little bit more <laughs> um so i decided to get this one the reviews seem really really nice and the charging cable it comes with a charging cable that's why i feel like i don't care for the shein one like when the shein one runs off of batteries so if you got you know new batteries in there it's going to be light as hell but you just got to keep you know replacing the batteries so i wanted to find one to where i can just charge it with the charger and that's what this one is when people were taking pictures of these on the reviews it looked so much bigger but this is tiny like compared to my face look how tiny that is it literally can fit in the palm of my hand ain't there if this was my boyfriend's hand he could definitely palm it okay so this piece if, if you want to put it on a tripod it comes with a little screw trial piece right there tripod piece okay i like that so i need to keep up with that because i do want to use that and then this one is for like a little camera bit okay i like that i like that then you got your charging cables and then you got your filters so your filters are this red one, they got blue, yellow, and orange. I still have, obviously, the regular room light on in here, which is horrible. But if you just slide this up, I feel like that's a lot of light. And then the brightness keys. I feel like that's a lot, what y'all think? Just for, you know, a cute little phone light. I got it also because I got this DJI 
I was my pocket three camera and I want to be able to you know have some light when I'm in lower light with that so yeah this is cute cute little selfie light all right and then this is the SD card that I got for my um DJI I got the 512 gigabyte one um, because I like to record in 4k so it says 4k UHD um, and when you usually use a the guy that I was watching on YouTube I think he had a 256 gigabyte SD card and so when he turned his camera this camera into the 4k setting um, it rendered down his footage recording time I think his recording time was like at six hours and since he was trying to record in 2k I mean 4k on the 256 gigabyte it had went down to like almost about three hours worth of footage so it cuts it in half basically I guess so we're gonna see what happens with this one um, so I'm about to go ahead and unbox my new camera because I'm super excited about this it's 910 right now at night I'll probably take prints back around to use it again real quick um, but I do want to record this unboxing I was gonna do it right here on my table but I'm like I kind of want this I, I don't want the brick background I kind of want my other background so I'm thinking of recording it right in front of this background I think it'll look a little bit better and then y'all know this little table right here used to be my entryway table so i decided to keep this table i don't know if i told y'all but i wanted to be do i wanted to use this specifically for a product showcasing so this was only like 40 dollars or so it's really light so when i'm doing like a pack with me for my hair business or like just any type of unboxing i feel like it'll look a lot better on a table and then i'm going to put that table over here where this couch is at so that way i can have that background and i can have everything sitting on a table that makes sense so we're going to go ahead and scoop this over oh. and this uh couch is really light y'all saw me put this up and put it together last year right before christmas um it's from wayfair so i can't really link it through amazon or anything it was definitely overpriced <laughs> for what it's uh for what i actually got but it's cute it's the perfect size that i've been looking for so no complaints there i'm gonna put that like that so now i'm gonna use this camera so like i said i'm not really gonna bore y'all with the whole tech stuff in this i have a separate video but basically i'm gonna have my camera be vertical obviously y'all are horizontal right now but this is the background you know y'all you see the vibes like this is the vibes right here so when i do an unboxing it's a cute clear background got this right here on the table super cute straight to the point so that's why i want it like that i just feel like this background is less busy than the brick even though the brick is just brick but you y'all know what i'm talking about y'all know what i'm talking about so yeah um, I'm about to do what I just told y'all I'm gonna do and then I'm gonna come back and record this little unboxing can get one from me one from me you can get one from me let it out take it back talking shit all you do couldn't help thinking of what did you put me through pardon your behavior but if you think i'm gonna stay you can get one okay so i just got done get my lashes done that's why the air is up sorry um i'll go to the little like thread in place here it's in the ghetto not gonna lie but you know <laughs> the ghetto they be they be you know they be doing they be this one um, it's on like $46. I don't do like just a full like lash extensions. Like I'm not about to pay $200, $175 and up for lashes. Especially because I wear glasses. And 
they tend to irritate me anyway so a quick little like 40 50 dollars for just a cute little like cluster lash they last about honestly they last about two weeks for me i'm not bad on them um so yeah i like them they're cute um i got length 13 and 14 this time because the first time i got them done they were like really really short so i decided to go ahead and get them like this so yeah i like them i'm about to go ahead and head she was on my edges too she messed my edge up <laughs> but i'm about to go ahead and head to the house and let my eyes um basically dry some more because i don't want to be in there all day but i just kind of let the air in my car um be on them i don't know what i'm talking about <laughs> i'll talk to y'all when i get back to the house i wanted to do a haul for y'all of my target stuff in the car a quick little haul um i went to forever 21 and i went to target as well uh, we're gonna do forever 21 first because i only got one thing out of there i got this shirt it was 14.99 it says oh i didn't even realize it said california <laughs> i didn't realize it said california it literally says california so that's perfect oh, my eyes starting to burn again okay can y'all hear me hopefully the audio is good um, we're gonna try to test it out here okay so from Target, i got these cute shorts they were 18 dollars, so about the same as what i would pay at forever 21 but i like these a little bit better because the ones forever 21 the back was poking outward i like the front but the back was poking out and i don't like that just some regular standard shorts um needed another pair of good quality shorts and then i got these yoga pants if i'm looking around sorry i'm just trying to you know make sure my surround is cool these are twenty dollars i feel like this should be ten dollars because girl these ain't nothing but just some little regular little yoga pants so i got that and then i also got this cute top this was outrageous i can't even believe i actually really bought this but this is a swim top in a size large i thought this was super cute i think i showed some b-roll of that i decided to go ahead and get oh my gosh that I'm gonna have to go back to Target. This this didn't even go off in the thing. Oh my gosh. I'm glad I saw that. Now I gotta go back to Target and tell them to take that off. But those are the little clothing item pieces that I got. I actually went inside Target to get those. I did do a um I did do a Target pickup. Or yeah, I did pick up. I went inside and got it. So this is what I'm gonna be taking on my trip. I got some more toothpaste to use. I wanted to try this out. This is the um, Saltier Body Wash. Um, I've been seeing a lot of people use this, so I got the little travel size kit or travel size one to try it out with. And then I also got some more Honey Pot Wash. I like this one more than the foaming. Um, I kind of like, it's not really gel, but I like the way this is. And disregard what it says, it just, I like this better than the actual foam. Next thing I got is a little bitty mini KP bump eraser body, uh, body scrub. I used this before when it first came out years ago. And honestly, I only used it like three or four times. And I don't know what I was expecting. Like, I guess I was expecting for my um, strawberry legs to be disappeared within like three or four days. I'm going to go through this whole entire bottle. And then I'm going to probably buy the big one. Um, I'm going to give it some time. I'm going to do... I'm going to give it about a month to see if it really works because if you don't know i got strawberry legs that's what kp means like that's what um the slang is we just call them strawberry legs and i really hate it so i'm trying to figure out a way to eliminate that i decided to try this out i hear a lot of people talk about this especially since it's been like 9500 degrees outside 95 degrees i ain't got no okay but i want to try this out um I don't know the nurses at my job said they used to use it like back in the day and it really worked for them but she said she felt like since she was using it so much it kind of stopped working for her so i got a two pack hopefully i like it and it works well for me and it's hot ass heat i got another mini therabreath y'all saw me get that when i was in well when i was going to dallas and then oh my gosh what is this oh <laughs> this is the mac finishing setting spray so i decided to get that and then i also got this bio oil skincare i see a lot of girlies on tiktok talk about this so they have it in a mini size and i decided to go ahead and get that um also was having a buy one get one free mini sale and then if you buy three hygiene products you'll get 25 percent off like i got like three different discounts at target alone so i really really do like that um 
when I went to Dallas, well, when I went to Texas last month, y'all, if y'all watched that vlog, I had already ordered, no, I had already went into the store and picked up a lot of, like, mini travel size stuff. So I got facial cleanser, I got two brushes and all of that. So I still have that type of stuff. So obviously I didn't buy it again. If I run out of something on the trip, then I can just obviously, you know, get it while I'm there in Cali. But for right now, I feel like that should give me a good head start. So I'm about to go ahead and go to Sonic over there on my side of town. Um, and then we're going to go home and I'm going to figure out, I'm going to try on all my clothes that I want to take on this trip and figure everything out. And then from there, we're just going to um, start packing because tomorrow's Monday. Um, I don't have anything to do Monday right now. Like when I get to packing and stuff, then we'll maybe like figure it out if I need anything else. But I have enough food for Prince to let him when I take him to my parents' house. My Brazilian wax is actually on Tuesday today. We leave. So Monday is just me at home packing, make sure I got everything together. And yeah, I kind of want to edit this video as well tonight because I do want to post this for y'all Monday. So I guess that's what I'll be doing editing and then hopefully post it by like 7, 6 or 7 p.m. So. <laughs> Okay. Can I just get a medium order of mozzarella sticks with marinara sauce? And a medium cherry lemonade. Alright, anything else? That's all. Hello, I'm good. Yes. Marinara, please. Thank you. I want to show you what I got from Sephora real quick. I literally went into Sephora for one item. This was the first store that I went to. So what? $43.45. I needed some more foundation. Um, my two favorite foundations are the MAC um, Broad Spectrum, the one with SPF, I believe. And um. My shade in that is NC50, I believe. And then I got the Fenty Beauty um, Soft Lift Naturally Luminous Longwear Foundation. Um, obviously, I don't use matte because I am very dry skin. So I got the hydrating one. Um, since I used it, she used to have a squeeze bottle. Um, and now she made the basically hydrating one in glass which i like as well um i do i think i'm gonna like the squeeze bottle better because i was able to really squeeze out all of the product so this one i feel like it'll be a lot of product wasted we'll see though so my shade in this is 385 um this is normally my winter shade but i guess i haven't been out in the sun too much this year because she put this on me right here and literally it blends in so well it literally looked just like my skin that's why fenty is my ultimate favorite foundation um because it just looks like your skin now mac is what i've been using since like high school mac is an oldie with a goodie um i think maybe because it has spf it may be like a little bit thicker consistency I don't know I may be wrong but I feel like MAC is thicker than the Fenty so the Fenty you really gotta like build it up I feel like if you really want like full coverage for me um but yeah this is definitely my favorite foundation blending wise because it literally just looks like your skin so that's what I got for Sephora um I think I already showed y'all everything that I got at Target. I did play my footage back and I see that it sounds better when I'm just using the regular internal mic. So I'm not going to use that extra little mic unless I'm like, you know, really like doing like a sit down type of video, something like that. Just regular vlogging. I think the audio quality sounds fine. Just like this. Y'all can comment down below and tell me. Um, I'm not going to trash that footage because it doesn't sound bad. I was watching McKenna's Walker video and she basically put the mic inside of her shirt and was using it that way, but I could barely hear her. Like in her vlog, you could barely hear her when she was doing it that way. So that's why I didn't want to do that. Um, but I'm just going to keep playing with it, you know, tweaking it and stuff like that. Um, I'm going to put on this wide angle lens real quick to see how I like that. So as you can see, this is like the regular standard and then popping this on, you're able to see a little bit more. So I'm about to go ahead and um i'm trying to figure out what i want to do first um <clears throat> so to be able to pack <laughs> i need a clean slate so my apartment like i said i just did a deep clean like probably three or four days ago so my house is clean i just need to straighten up 
things that I just got misplaced. So I'm going to go ahead and fold this load of clothes that's in my um, dryer so that, you know, I can bring along my little regular like t-shirts and stuff with me because on the trip, like, yeah, I need like some going out outfits, but I also need like regular lounge around clothes as well. So I'm going to do that so I can have all of my clothes, you know, folded and put away so I can see what I need to grab. Um, and yeah, I'm going to see how much I can pack into my carry-on bag. Um, because I'm, I'm honestly not taking a lot of clothes. Like I have enough clothes for each day. It's just, since I already have my outfits planned, I'm not just bringing a bunch of clothes and it's like, oh, I figure out what I'm going to wear when I get there. So when I did go to Texas last month and I took my carry on and a personal item only to Vegas as well. Um, but obviously I wasn't staying a week. So I'm going to try to like stuff that one with as much as I can. Um, and the important stuff in my electronics and all of that, I always put that in my personal belongings bag, which is usually either a backpack or some type of like purse. Um, I'll probably bring my tote bag. If not that, I'll just bring a backpack and I'll be able to fit a lot more. Um, so yeah, I'm going to straighten up a little bit. I'm not going to bore y'all with that because it's not what this video is about. And then after I get done straightening up, I'm going to shower after that because I already took prints out. Um, so that way I can be clean because I don't want to try on my clothes and I've been outside all day. Like I don't want that outside smell. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'll get back with y'all when I decide to um, start packing today. A little check in. Um, everything is clean. My apartment is clean and everything straightened up. I am currently trying on my outfits and seeing how I want to wear my hair. So I'm going to give y'all a little sneak peek of this one. I already showed y'all this in a Shein haul, I believe. Um, but this is, come on now. This dress is from Shein. I plan to take this with me and I'm trying to see how I want to wear my hair with it. So I think I'm going to do a bun and have two braids down. If not two braids, I'm about to ask my boyfriend how does he like it. Go like this. So put my braids back and then I'm just going to have like the boho hair coming down. This is going to be posted. I'm posting this video tomorrow. So y'all be able to comment and let me know. So do y'all like it? like this with just the boho hair down or do y'all like it with the braids down keep in mind that i am going to be wearing glasses as well so the braids really don't look too right with the um glasses so i'm thinking maybe just the boho hair but y'all can comment down below so yeah this little sneak peek i plan on taking this one and i think i'm gonna do the half of half down super duper cute my little buddy that essence much all right hey y'all update it is time is it uh, i guess i gotta watch right here it's 202 in the morning um as you guys can see i am up i took my sleeping pill <laughs> i took half of it so hopefully i'm asleep at least by like what it's only 202 at least by three o'clock um yeah i'm i didn't pack but i tried on all of my clothes i figured everything out all of my outfits accessories whoop -de whoop um the only thing that i need is a pair of white heels i have a pair of white heels right here which they are lovely the only thing is this one is perfect this one i'm not sure if you guys can tell this one is the good heel this is the bad heel this heel is glued on crooked so i'll be leaning in the heel so i'm gonna try to go to forever 21 tomorrow i think i saw a lot of white heels in there hopefully <clears throat> they work out really well so i need to buy white heels and i made a list on my um notes so i need i got the gold watch band i need white heels i'm gonna buy an air tag if my clothes can't fit in my carry-on back back there um uh, i'm gonna try to put everything in the carry-on just because like i said all of my clothes are on my dresser and that's all i'm taking and then like you know my toiletries and stuff i don't gotta take anything for the hair like nothing so that white heels i need the swimsuit bottoms because i bought the top at Target, y'all saw that today. Um, I don't have any bottoms at home. I forgot I did a whole deep clean in my closet and threw out all of my bottoms. So I do have a pair of white bottoms, but they're extremely too small. So I'm gonna try to find like some cute blue ones. Um, I want some melatonin. Um, I don't wanna really take my sleeping pills on the trip because I don't wanna be like knocked out for a long time. Melatonin, I can wake up a lot easier. Um, and then I need travel size like squeeze bottles and stuff. And when I go to Target, I'm just going to go ahead and see if they um have some in stock there. I did put melatonin in my cart, but they was out of stock. And I also put the Mighty Patches in my cart as well, but they were out of stock. So that's why I didn't get them. Um, but yeah, that's update. I'm actually cooking me some chili dogs right now. They're in the water boiling. Um, I kind of want that kind of 
burnt grill flavor taste as well so once they get done boiling i'm gonna put them in i got a pan that got like the grill lines on them so i'm gonna put it in that um so yeah i didn't do it at first because i like to make sure my hot dog like completely cooked through so that's why i decided to go ahead and boil them so yeah this update i'll talk to y'all tomorrow um actually yeah i'm just gonna show y'all me packing my stuff up tomorrow like i said i'm not gonna do that until tomorrow well later today now since it's two o'clock um because i want to record short form content and like show like you know like a pack with me type video like that as well so i'm gonna do that first and then i may include that in this one but after that we'll be done with this vlog and then y'all just have to wait on all the travel content and the other little vlogs and stuff that i'm going to post in between now and then basically it is what time is it it's 4 5 it's the day before i gotta leave for cali we leave out tomorrow uh it's monday the 24 4 5 like i said um i obviously haven't edited anything if i'm recording right now for y'all <laughs> um it's been it's been a busy little start to my day from earlier so i just left um my front office and i got a few packages little last minute stuff that i had ordered and i'm glad that it's here so i'm gonna open from this side this is the front and so i got a portable charging bank this one was rated really really well on amazon um it shows what percentage it is right at the top in digital letters um and digital numbers and then it has usb-c usb um and some more i only care about usb-c and the other one so i got it in black actually no did i get it in black i thought i got it in pink i specifically didn't want it in black because obviously everything in my apartment is black and it's kind of hard to find stuff so i wanted to get a bright color so i'm able to find it i think i got it in pink i was going to do white but i feel like white may get dirty fairly quickly yeah yeah so they got white, black, blue, green, purple, yellow, and pink. And the only ones that was available was white, black, pink, and I think maybe blue. And obviously didn't want those. Uh, unbox her. If you guys love pink, I like pink as well. But yeah, super cute. I like, let's see this, if she has any charge. Okay, so it comes with 75% battery life. Super cool. I'm gonna test it out real quick. This in, and we'll see. Yep, it's charging. You can see right there. Ah, I'm excited. <laughs> Period. Other thing I got. Oh, these come in a small baggie. Um, I randomly saw these on Amazon. Um, the brand name is Wipe That Tush. I thought that was hilarious. Um, somebody said they didn't like it because on the packaging it actually said wipe that tush from where it's from. Let me check and see. Mine doesn't say anything. They said their package has said wipe that tush and they didn't like that because it wasn't discreet. So I'm not sure if they changed it since then or not. But um, I had already had like some little to go flushable wipes in my cart but they were like the actual like kind of like baby wipe size um and you'll just pull it out the pack but these are 30 individual flushable wipes like i said the brand name is wipe that tush on amazon it'll be linked down below and everybody in the comments was saying that they really really like these and how convenient they were so literally they come if you i've used the honey pot wipes before so if you use any type of just like single wipes it's just like that and then you can just slip them in your purse or whatever so i'm going to be taking a few of these out whenever we go out on the trip because i just feel like you always need some type of wipe with you so coming to pack of 30 it wasn't that much and they feel really like a really good thickness into them like a you know really good size so i'm super excited for that i'm gonna have that a few of these with me everywhere we go and this i believe is from she in a package that i've been waiting on since last wednesday they said they tried to deliver it and they did not attempt at all this is what i was going to wear with one pair of my pants that i'm taking with me on this trip um i got it in a size medium i already had the shirt in a size large um it just looks like this so i'm gonna try it on and see how it looks and you know figure out which one i want to take but the medium still kind of look a little big in the back my makeup brushes as well so those are drying right now and then i'm gonna take two beauty blenders with me so these are still just a little bit wet but those should be done in here this is all the makeup that i'm going to be taking um and then like this is a moisturizer 
and yeah so basically what i did i literally sat right here and was like okay i start off with eyebrows foundation like i just went down the steps and then to make sure that i have everything that i need so i, so I do not overpack then moving on in here i kind of got stuff spread everywhere i got stuff packed into my bonnet as well but i'm going to take this out i just have to transport it out of my bedroom so i got the rest of my toiletries and stuff hair stuff this one i'm not going to take this whole box i'm going to put a little bit in one of those little bitty tubes i got and then this is just some of the other stuff i'm going to take that's why i got the travel size you already saw all of that and then i did go ahead and put all of my outfits and everything on my dresser so i know exactly what i need and have all of my outfits i am going to record like i said a little tiktok pack with me so that's what i'm about to do i went ahead and made my bed everything's good everything's clean after i'm done packing i'm gonna straighten up a little bit more yeah, so i just got out of the shower it's monday i think 50 percent it is monday night i can't even see what time it is because oh i got my watch it's 9 56 at night um i got a wax appointment at 9 15 in the morning so i am about to edit this vlog that y'all are watching right now to try to go ahead and get it up i wanted to have it posted today so we'll see i don't know i may post it thursday or i may just hold it actually no i may post it tomorrow or i may just hold it up until thursday and then sunday i didn't get a chance to record any type of sit down vlog either um while i'm there i may try to do something i don't know we'll just see um since the trip is here i kind of don't even want to just think about work aka youtube i don't really want to think about work and i mean work as in youtube any type of work my actual job and youtube and all of that so i just want to enjoy this trip i am going to vlog everything for y'all and all of that but i'm not going to like you know just be hard on myself trying to upload and all of that because this is my vacation so i'm gonna get the content for y'all then i will when i get back home i'll edit and post and stuff like that but y'all are gonna see this prep sorry messing with my hair the um little like bohemian curls and stuff is getting tangled but yeah um, i'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here because like i said i did everything that i wanted to do um we leave out tomorrow to catch our flight um i packed everything in my carry-on um i think i am gonna either post that as a separate video or i may pop in a little bit i probably already popped in a little bit in this vlog but i fit everything in my carry-on that's insane i've never done that before so only other thing that i have left is over there that's all the stuff that's going to go in my backpack along with my electronics and that's pretty much it um i went to target to let them take off that little security piece on my swim top i don't have any swim bottoms i forgot to get that while i was in target so tomorrow i do need to go to rack room they have some heels that i need for my outfit so tomorrow i think i'm just gonna have to come back on this side of town anyway so i'm just gonna keep prints over here and i'll probably take prints literally like right at dang near like 11 30. um uh, we're supposed to leave out at 12 noon so rack room it's here in Little Rock, so I know I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna be able to do all of that by 9 15. So I'm gonna go get wax on that side of town and then I'm gonna come back, go to rack room, and you know, do what I gotta do, find some swim bottoms for maybe like five dollars or so. May end up just going to Walmart because I do need to buy prints and another bag of food for my parents just so they can have more than enough. Um, and then yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'll see y'all when I see y'all. Don't forget to like this video, comment, and subscribe. And until my next video, I will see you lovely then. Bye guys.